Uh, hello, uh, in this video I will show you new Rayfire slides modifier uh, in build 1.65. Um, uh, originally we didn't plan to write this plugin and our goal was writing our own mesh class and thanks to this um, we can now finally start develop plugins for Maya as well but uh, eventually we decided to uh, write a simple modifier as a replacement to uh, this max slice modifier this one as you can see it's pretty simple and uh, this is our implementation uh, it has all the properties under the hood so uh, nothing special uh, obviously the slice modifier just creates slice there's five modes first one is split and by default when you apply it you it split geometry to along this slice plane and uh, by default it cup holes so if you will apply edit poly and move this element, uh, you will see that everything is ready to use. So next mode is just refine, simple refine. Uh, here's this refine edge. In this mode, it simply cut geometry over the slice plane. Nothing special. And next mode is remove top and remove bottom. And the last one is remove both. In this case, it, as, you, as you see, it removes top and bottom, but leaves this carpet area, this interfaces, so we can turn off them as well. But obviously, in this case, it doesn't produce anything. So, uh, and of course, you can animate the slice plane and get some interesting result. Okay, let's uh, move to split mode. And uh, now let's see this options property. First one is interactive. It's uh, mostly for very high poly object. As you can see, this one has almost 100,000 polygons, but still uh, it works almost in real time. So, but for very high poly object, you can turn it off and uh, position your slice plane as you want, and then uh, you will get the result. Next one is cup holes, and as, you can, as, you, as I said this before. It allows to cut this uh, border edge. Uh, weld collinear is mostly for uh, flat uh, objects like boxes, and uh, um, it's better to use to have it off since it may affect your mapping. And the next one is assign normals, and um, by default, as you can see, it's on. Let's set split mode here, and uh, I will turn assign normals off to the select object. So here you can see there appears some small artifacts here along this uh, slide stage. But if I will set sign normals, it will fix this problem. So in most cases you should better use it on. And selected elements only allows you to uh, fragment only select elements. So if you right now I have only one element here obviously, uh, but if you have two elements you can select the one you want and uh, then go to refire slice hit select elements only and it will slice only selected element ok uh, I will turn it off next uh, group of properties is slicing and uh, in when you have this uh, split mode active you can use gap you can increase gap and so here are gap Uh, again, in some cases, might be really useful. And another feature is new slices. So by default, it creates one slice, one slice plane. But you can set here, let's say 10, and it will create 10 slice planes. And right now, my gap is very big, so I will set it to zero. Here's my 10 slice uh, slices. So let's set here maybe one centimeter. Okay, now you can see that we have multiple slices. Um, and each slice has gap and uh, here you can two ways to define the distance between these um, slice planes first one is offset relative to the next one so right now it's 5 cm so I can increase, I can define here exact value like I want uh, distance between each slice be let's say 20 cm and let's say gap I want to be 5 cm so you will see the difference Okay, and also you can set here total amount of distance. Uh, let's set, let's say, 
maybe 300 centimeters okay and as you can see there's uh, our original slice plane this orange one is at the center of all these planes but you can set it uh, this is because you have here both directions checkbox if I will uncheck it all slice plane will move uh, upper from this one so in this way you can uh, define as the position of first slice plane and then all uh, uh, all other slices will go upper so again in some cases this might be very useful I can set here let's say 30 and uh, 300 again so as you can see uh, very interesting results very quickly almost in real time in everything again animated you can animate all this stuff so let's set here let's say 35 okay uh, next uh, group of properties is mapping and gizmo and this first to width and length defines as a uh, size of this slice gizmo and it doesn't affect to uh, geometry slicing but affects to mapping so let's uh, let's create some multi sub object material so this is my material I will add some another one ID2 and as you can see since I have set here material ID2 it automatically set here this gray material so let's set here checker material as this ID2 material and here you can see it apply this material to inner faces and checks it and so you will better see I will set here to remove top and uh, here also you can define tiling let's set here let's say 10 and uh, changing this uh, length and width you can find your map as well uh, also there is a uh, four buttons like fit Decides the gizmo to fit the object. Let's say if I play it with it, uh, you can always here fit and it will reset to original size. And uh, again, if you play it with it, somehow you want to center it, you can click it center. And if you want to make slice according to your view, you can set view align. And this one acquire allows you to pick any uh, object with uh, another slice modifier and use the same uh, gizmo and the rest, uh, the last one is explode uh, it simply allows you to uh, explode to elements everything so let's set here this is before so you can set here explode to objects and uh, here you'll get all the elements for the separated geometry. Uh, okay, this is it for the slice modifier, and uh, thank you for watching.